In this lesson, you'll learn how to write and graph linear equations when given a specific context and a set of data in a table. First, let's learn how to write a linear equation when given a context. Look at this example. Rachel is a math teacher and she wants to buy highlighters and pens for each of her students. The store charges a dollar for each pen and two dollars for each highlighter. Rachel spends $40 at the store on pens and highlighters. Since you don't know how many pens or highlighters she buys, you can use variables to represent the amount of pens and highlighters. Let's use x to represent the number of pens and y to represent the number of highlighters. Since pens are a dollar each and highlighters are two dollars each, the amount she spends is 1x plus 2y. And since she spends $40 on pens and highlighters, the equation looks like this, 1x plus 2y equals 40. When you have linear equations, you can graph it using the slope-intercept form of the line. The slope-intercept form is y equals mx plus b, where m is the slope and b represents the y-intercept. In order to have the equation follow the slope-intercept format, you first need to solve for y. We start with x plus 2y equals 40, our original equation that we just created. Subtract x from both sides and you have 2y equals 40 minus x. Now use inverse operations to isolate y. Multiply both sides by 1 half. Distribute the 1 half on the right hand side and you have y equals 20 minus 1 half x or y equals negative 1 half x plus 20 and this matches the slope intercept format. The slope is negative one-half and the y-intercept is 20. The y-intercept is where the line intersects the y-axis. And now we're ready to graph. First, place the y-intercept, which is 20, on the y-axis. Next, use the slope to count up and over. Remember, the slope represents rise over run, or the amount you go up or down, over the amount you go right or left from a given point already on the graph. Start from your y-intercept and go down 1 and right 2. Put another point there. Do it again to have one more point if you want. Now connect those points to make your line. And there you have it. You graph the linear equation that models the context or situation you were given. Now let's write and graph an equation based off data in a table. Here's our table. These represent points on a line. To create an equation for this, you first need the slope. The slope formula is slope, or m, equals y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1, where x1 and y1 and x2, y2 are any two points on the graph. You can use any of the three points that were given, so let's pick two and use negative 6, 3 and negative 3, 2. Plug in the pieces to the formula. y2 is 2, y1 is 3, so we'll plug those in here x2 is negative 3 and x1 is negative 6 and we plug those in as well. Be very careful with all those negatives running around. Do the arithmetic, watching out for the negatives, and you get the slope is negative one-third. Now that you have the slope, you can use this to find the y-intercept. Plug it into the slope-intercept form of a linear equation, y equals mx plus b, and we replace the m or slope with our slope y equals negative one-third x plus b. Now substitute a point to the equation for x and y. We can choose any point on the line, so let's just randomly pick one, negative six, three. So you have three equals negative one-third times negative six plus b. Remember, this is negative one-third times negative six, not subtraction. Then you have three equals six over three plus b, 6 over 3 reduces to 2, so you have 3 equals 2 plus b. Subtract 2 from both sides and we get 1 equals b or b equals 1. So the equation in slope-intercept form is y equals negative one-third x plus 1. Now we can graph this using the three points we were given. Notice the y-intercept we found is also there. And you did it. You just learned to write and graph linear equations when given a context or table.